I have one day left in Paris. I'm a little bit sad about it being my last day, but I'm also ready. By the end of the trip, you're always like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Although I'm not going home, I'm going to New York tomorrow. Listen, I'm just not ready to go back to LA yet. I'm gonna wait until something forces me to go home. I have a cat sitter, like my cats are fine. They're being fed and pet and cuddled every day. Not by me, which is unfortunate, but they are being taken care of. Right now I'm in the mood for a coffee. I already had one this morning, but I think it's time for another one. So I'll start there. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. It's like, okay, first stop, I wanna find a coffee shop. Then I just walk until I find one of those and it's like a scavenger hunt. Next thing you know, you've been out all day and you had a great fucking time. Also, I literally love filming myself in public here because uh, for some reason nobody cares. It's really awesome. Okay, never mind. Somebody just gave me a weird look. Some man just looked at me like I killed his family. So uh, I actually take everything I said back. slight issue I need to go to the bathroom so bad like not even just like oh I have to pee or like oh I have to like maybe go number two like I have to do both like I need to like sit on the toilet for an hour right now but I'm out for the day like I'm not planning on going back to my hotel room for the rest of the day so you know I mean I'll figure it out it's just that <laughs> Last night my dad and I went to an art museum and it was one of those like famous Paris art museums. It's called the Dorsay. It had a bunch of famous paintings in it. Van Gogh paintings, Monet paintings. I think that this museum experience really opened my eyes to the fact that actually museums are kind of fun. They're not fun, that's not the right word, but they're amusing. They're like relaxing and amusing. Like I wasn't like, ah, fuck yes, ah, I love this Monet painting so much. I'm having literally so much fun. This is better than Coachella. You know, like it wasn't like that. It's a very unique form of entertainment. Going to a museum is a very different kind of entertainment. Anyway, I took pictures of some of my favorite art pieces that I saw. You look at this dude laying in bed and you can like feel what his body feels like right now. Like he's been snuggled up in bed for a few hours. His blankets and sheets are all warmed up. He's all insulated in the in the bed and he's all warm. You know, like that's the vibe. Like that's the vibe. I can like feel this vibe. See, this is a Van Gogh painting. And the funny thing about Van Gogh paintings is that obviously they're extremely famous. Everybody in the museum was like fangirling over the Van Gogh paintings and it was so interesting to see people like fangirling over an inanimate object but anyway I was also fangirling. This is actually my favorite painting of all time. I am fucking obsessed with this painting. I honestly really want to buy a fake one and just put it up in my house and I know that that's so wrong like I know <laughs> it's just so fucking good. I love all the colors in it. I love the wonkiness of the room. There's something weirdly nostalgic about it. I love how there's paintings of paintings in this on the top right. Like this is just the fuck this is my favorite painting of all time and I know that I'm not saying anything groundbreaking here I think a lot of people probably love this painting it's a very fucking famous painting but whatever I can still appreciate it it's so funny like with art I feel like talking about famous art is like the same thing as talking about popular music it's like not cool to like the popular thing but fuck all that I hate that and I love this painting and I cannot wait to buy a fake one I don't know why I was so obsessed with this portrait. Van Gogh did this portrait of this dude. I just love his facial expression. He looks a little bit nervous. He looks like me anytime I'm at a social event, like when I'm at a party, this is what my face looks like. Just a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> the fuck? Another Van Gogh painting that's just a fucking banger. This one is just so good. It kind of reminds me of Coraline. Coraline is my favorite movie. And this kind of reminds me of the house in Coraline. I just love everything about that. This is the famous Van Gogh self-portrait. I mean, I had to fucking take a photo of it. He looks great in it. The thing I do wonder about self-portraits back in the day is like, how did they, like, how did they do it? Like, did they take like a photo of themselves? Were there even cameras back then? I know there were cameras. Okay, don't get fucking mad at me. I play dumb all the time. I'm not actually that dumb. I play dumb a lot and I am dumb sometimes, but I know that there were cameras back then. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> there had to have been cameras. I know there were cameras. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, this is just a full painting of a vagina. I'd love to say that I'm classy. I'd love to say that I can see the beauty in a painting of a vagina. I took a selfie in front of it and I sent it to 10 people. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, I'm gonna start going to art museums more. I really enjoyed that. It's relaxing, but not boring. It's kind of similar to reading a book. It's like this very relaxing form of entertainment, which I think the older you get, the more you appreciate. And so, you know, I might start going to museums more. I'm not kidding. I've had to go to the bathroom for the, ha the past half hour. And the problem is it's hard to just find a bathroom. Like, I don't know where to go to find a fucking bathroom. Like, where do I go to find a bathroom? I'm in a park right now. There's no bathrooms here. Also, if I ask somebody, again, I'm really bad at languages. And listen, this is my fault, but like, you know, if I ask somebody where the bathroom is, chances are they're gonna tell me in French and I'm just gonna have to try to decode what they told me and I'll probably find a bathroom somewhere. The problem is, I don't know how long I can hold it. I found the fucking bathroom. In, in a mall. I think I'm in a mall? Like a shopping mall? I don't know. That bathroom experience. <laughs> I walk into this bathroom and I see a toilet, so I start walking towards it and then I get yelled at. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she was like, you have to pay to use the toilet. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. I will pay to use the toilet. I can't believe I have to pay to poop. Never thought that that would happen, but hey, sure, whatever. I pay this woman, I get in line, I mean like, I was in so, I was so uncomfortable. Like, I was past the point of no return. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I have to pee a little bit. I have to poop a little bit. It was like, oh no, I'm actually about to shit and piss myself at the same time. My abdomen felt like, yeah, felt like it had rats inside of it just eating me from the inside out. So I'm waiting in line to use the toilet. The woman comes up to me again and she's like, you forgot to pay. And I was like, no, I just paid you. I, I just paid you a few seconds ago. She's like, you didn't pay. And I was like, yes, I did. Queen, I love you. I can't wait to use your toilet. I don't want to fight with you right now, but I did just pay. And I'm not going to pay again to go poop because I feel like that shouldn't be a thing anyway. Like, I feel like I should be able to poop for free in general. Uh, so I'm just paying once this time. And she was like, you didn't pay. And I showed her my receipt and then she was like, oh, okay. And then I, and then I went to the bathroom and it was great. And I feel great now. My body feels, uh, super relaxed. Um, but that experience was kind of traumatizing, so now I am laying in a park just to try to decompress after what I've been through. Um, although what was kind of magical is that while I was using the toilet, a ladybug flew onto my arm inside of a building. I don't know how a ladybug got in there, but it was kind of a magical moment. So me and this ladybug got to hang out while I was pooping, and you know, it was cute, it was sweet, but anyway, yeah. Oh my god, there's a fucking Eiffel Tower right there. Can you see it? I was having a relaxing, peaceful lunch and I go in my bag to get my wallet and it's not fucking in there. I fucking lost my wallet. Listen, it would be one thing if I was at home and I lost my wallet, but I'm not in, I'm not home. 
It had all my credit cards in it. Luckily, it didn't have my passport in it, but it had my vaccine card, like everything. And I'm freaking out. And I, it, I had to have left it at the coffee shop that I was at before, but that coffee shop closes in seven minutes and I'm literally seven minutes away. So if they close early or they don't have it, I'm fucked. But I had to have left it there. That's the, that's, cause I, because I use my credit card to pay there. So it has to be there. So I'm really hoping it's there. Cause I, it, it couldn't be anywhere else. If it's not there, I'm gonna, I don't know. Everything just went to shit. If I can find it though, my day will be made and I will be, I swear to God, I will be the most, I will never complain ever again about anything if I found my wallet right now. <laughs> you guys, oh my God, I fucking found it. It was at the coffee shop. When I walked in, they were like, we know what you want. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yes. What would I have done? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can now continue my adventure, so life is good. I just, I'm appreciating life in a new light now. You know, it's funny. This is why I normally don't carry a wallet. Like, I don't even own a wallet. Like, I'm literally using an envelope. I forget shit everywhere. I lose shit all the time. So I never carry a wallet. I always put things in my pocket. But today I was like, you know what? We'll do a little wallet. And then I fucking lose it. 